What's up Virgo? This is your love forecast for the first two weeks of June, June 1st till the 15th. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and Cross Watchers. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are new to my channel, I put these updates out bi-weekly. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with me as I get them out to you. Okay, so let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? the first few weeks of June in the area of love. Any love messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, first two weeks of June in love. It's coming in for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, first two weeks of June. Okay, Virgo. So first of all, this is you, Queen of Pentacles, showing up in your own reading, okay? Now, Virgo, I'm seeing that um, from the overall energy that you're just kind of chilling. You're at a bit of a rest state at the moment with the Four of Swords, okay? You may be healing from something at the moment as well with that Four of Swords energy and the Four of Pentacles, okay? Fours represent stability, and I feel like that's what you're really looking for at the moment. I'm sensing a lot of you might be really unattached, okay? So I think that you're just kind of um, at a rest state now when it comes to love because you're a little bit holding back on moving forward into anything committed right now because you're kind of just focused on yourself all right the queen of pentacles is someone that's kind of secure doing their own thing you might be very much focused on work and on your finances and getting things in order okay but you're coming into a new cycle all right i am sensing that there was some disappointment in the past things were out of balance for you virgo okay the six of pentacles came out i feel like you may have had um either a recent connection or a series of connections where you you were just giving too much and not getting enough in return okay that six of pentacles is like kind of that energy of someone giving you breadcrumbs okay so that's kind of left you feeling like you, you know a little bit closed off with that four of pentacles that's like someone that's holding back a little bit okay i want to find out a little bit more what that's all about why do we have the four of pentacles out here spirit a lot of pentacles energy okay so i can see that you're very much focused on practicality and practical matters you want to move on into something new because I'm seeing that it's all now about you getting that balanced energy, okay? Getting a new connection that's balanced, okay? Page of Swords, all right? So I do see with that Four of Pentacles and Page of Swords, there is someone that also could be holding on to you, Virgo, okay? That Page of Swords, someone's got their eye on you or wants to communicate with you, okay? Um, but they're holding back, okay? So this is that energy of holding back. This also could be you, Virgo, holding back because you might have your eye on someone, but you're still kind of healing from something that happened or some disappointments that you experienced um, in the past. Why do we have the Four of Swords and the Page of, sorry, Four of Pentacles and the Page of Swords? Nine of Cups. Wow, Virgo. Okay. So there's definitely a little bit of this energy of someone keeping an eye on you, or you've got your eye on someone that you think will make you very happy or vice versa. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, okay? Now, Page of Swords could be very much like that kind of spying energy. This person could be checking you out on social media or, or you've got your eye on them or it's mutual, okay? But someone's holding back. Why do we have the Six of Pentacles? Yes, okay. So someone's definitely holding back from, the, from making a move right now, um, Virgo. However, I do see that an offer could come through with a page of wands, okay? Some kind of a passionate offering, some kind of a communication um, that's going to give you something different than what you've had, okay? Because the Six of Pentacles, to me, like I said, it's, it means that things were out of balance before. But because of this world card, I do see something coming in that's like a new beginning for you. It's closing out of this old cycle where things were out of balance and a Page of Wands wants to communicate with you. Now, you could be dealing with a fire sign. This could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, but it could just be someone, you know, seeing you with a lot of passion and wanting to come forward and make an offer. They could live at a distance here with the world card, okay? Um, and also with that page of swords. So you could be communicating with someone on social media. If you haven't already connected with them, I see you connecting with someone new um, in the first two weeks of June, or if not, you may have been sort of communicating a little bit, but there's this heavy kind of keeping an eye on you energy. Um, and you you as well okay so why do we have the world card what's this new cycle 
coming in spirit can you clarify the world for me can you clarify the world for me please spirit Mm, yes, it's a new cycle that's going to take you out of this stuck energy, okay? Because Virgo, I'm really sensing that, you know, you are feeling a little insecure about love at the moment, okay? Because I feel like, like I said, things were out of balance and you just felt like you were just giving too much and not getting enough back. And you could be going around in your mind quite a bit about this, okay? And feeling sort of just um, a little bit trapped in your head going over and over things, okay? But you have to know that with that world card, this is about closing out the old and being open to something new because it is coming through. More on the Queen of Pentacles, please, Spirit. More on the Queen of Pentacles. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, exactly, okay? Because Virgo, you've decided you don't want to compromise anymore, okay? It's either something committed and stable and equal um, or you're not interested, but you do carry a lot of these fears with you um, and you do need to let in the new energy, okay? Because the devil cards come out here, okay? And this to me really represents a lot of fears. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. doesn't have to be though, okay? But this is kind of, this devil energy um, to me means that you're kind of closed off right now. As I said at the beginning, you're closed off to love, but there is someone that wants to come forward and move towards you, um, Taurus. There's this um, Nine of Cups energy. So this is someone that will make you very happy, but you've got to be open to it, okay? This is about letting go of the past, closing out that cycle and being open again to love, all right? Because it's coming for you. Why do we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil? One more. It's this Devil energy, Spirit. It's this Devil energy. I can definitely see that you're healing, and I think that that's why you've taken some time out. But um, things are going to shift again for you real soon. Yeah, you're really getting your strength back, um, Virgo, okay? Because with this, um, this strength card, okay, I do see that, like, you know, you're getting the courage to move forward out of that old energy. Something really left you feeling like you didn't have the strength anymore for love. You were feeling really defeated. I think you experienced some deception here with the Seven of Swords in the past, and you're carrying that with you, okay? But you have to know that, you know... Um, it's, you know, in order to let in the new love, you've got to let go of that. It's keeping you really bound. The Empress card came out as well, okay? So I see this as you standing in your power now and knowing that, you know, you're, you know, you're deserving of love, but this requires you to be open to receive it, okay? So that's what Spirit's telling me, is that you need to be open to receiving this new love. The Six of Swords is here as well, which means you're moving into a smoother time, into calmer waters after kind of a turbulent period. I just wanted to get some oracles for you guys as well. Can I get an oracle, please, Spirit? A change in the wind. Wow, you can't make it up. Okay, so change is coming, Virgo, okay? You're going to get a shift really, really soon. I'm seeing big changes for you in the first two weeks of June. And I do see someone new coming in for you, all right? And I'm just going to get some psychic oracles. Can I get a couple of psychic oracles, please, Spirit, for Virgo, first two weeks of June, in love? Oops. All right, guys. Firm foundation, okay. I see that you've built a, built a firm foundation for yourself already in terms of everything else in your life. I think that things are going really well. I think material matters are all in place. You're in that queen of pentacles energy. You're kind of secure on your own, okay? And you might be feeling like that, like you don't really need anyone. But I think that, you know, deep down, you really do want to have this kind of commitment. You want to have the relationship. So again, like don't get stuck in the past, Virgo, and don't get... Um, keep all this fear around you and leave yourself closed off to love yeah because someone's coming in that sees you okay they see you for what you are and for you and your empress energy okay recognition and reward okay so with that and change in the wind i think that you know just good things are coming so don't you worry um you just kind of keep doing your thing but be open and um and yeah be open to receiving okay so i hope that that resonated for you guys and if it did give me a like and a comment as i said um and i'll check in with you guys in a couple of weeks okay lots of love